Hi everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 12 canvas that I'm just going to do a um, bloom technique, but I'm just going to blow the paint out and see how that works. Um, my base coat is um, King Art Soft Beige mixed with Amsterdam Titanium White. And the ratio of that paint is one part paint to three parts Floetrol. The colors I'm using today are all King Art colors. And I have Cobalt Blue. And I have Gray. And I have Violet. And I have Magenta. And these paints are mixed two ounces of Floetrol to five milliliters of paint. My topper, I'm using the Amsterdam uh, Titanium White, and it is, uh, the recipe for that is one teaspoon of paint to two and three quarter tablespoons of Floetrol. So let's get started. I will put down A little pillow of paint here. Like I said, I'm just going to try using the blow dryer with this and see how it works. And let's start laying the paints down. Put a little more on there. No silicone is used in this recipe. And here's my topper. And I am going to put a little more of this base paint around here to help the paint move. Okay. At first I'll blow it by myself and then I will use my blow dryer. Went a little crazy there. Okay, I'll let that sit a minute. just a little bit more of the white topper right here before I start blow drying it. And I'm going to have my blow dry on high and cool and we'll see how this works. Turn it here a minute. a little tipping here. I'm 
and I may get out my little air compressor. See what I can do with the edges here. Do a little more tipping here. I think it could just use a little more tipping. As the paint is still moving, so. And I'm going to bring it back. And this way. And again, this um, bloom recipe I am using is from Tish of Naptime Creations. And it's just using paint and Floetrol. This paint still is really moving well, so I'm gonna keep tipping here a little bit, see what I get. And take a look at it now. And I'm going to tip down to this corner. This was a used canvas. I don't know if I mentioned that. I had had a painting on here that I didn't care for. I put a layer of what's called Kills 2 on top of that painting and then let that dry to hopefully prevent cracking and crazing. Getting it over that corner. And now I'm going to bring it back to the center here. I really do like the uh, King Art paints. This is the second time I've used them. They're very creamy and easy to mix. Okay, I'm just going to take a look at it now. Cover my corner here a little bit.
just going to try and pull it down over that corner if I can. Checking the sides here. I do have a little negative space, but that's fine. Okay, I'm going to torch it. And I will fix up the sides off camera. They just need a little bit of touching up. Just going to take my skewer here and just just kind of bring this down a little bit here. I just didn't like the way that that just ended. Okay, I really do like this, it's very pretty. And I will get you down for a close up. You can tell me what you think. Again, this is a 12 by 12 inch canvas. It's the Bloom Technique. And I just blew the paints out first myself and then with the blow dryer. Did a little tipping, so let's see what we have here. This is the upper left-hand corner. Really pretty cells in there. And here's the lower left-hand corner. And I'll take you up the middle. Very pretty in here. Got some lacing there. Very pretty. And I love how it's streaked like that. Very pretty in there. <clears throat> This is the upper right hand corner. And here is the lower right hand corner. And I did get a little bit of lacing in here too. So pretty. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. And until next time, take care everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye.